BRICS countries are eyeing the cultural economy that accounts for 37% of trade in the world. Arts and Culture Minister Natim Tetwa opened the meeting of BRICS ministers at Marupeng. He says that these countries are having their third annual meeting to unlock opportunities in areas including film, animation, museums and fashion. The countries are already making plans for a BRICS film fund. And uh, Mtetwa says that uh, projects should benefit ordinary people. Our reporter Ntakwana Ngatane spoke to Minister Mtetwa at the meeting. A very warm welcome from Marup Ng, the cradle of humankind, where Arts and Culture Minister Natim Tetwa is hosting his counterparts from the BRICS countries for the third BRICS cultural meeting. And of course, this is a meeting that looks at the cultural economy and how the BRICS countries can collaborate to tap into that space and ensure that its peoples benefit. Minister, thank you very much for making the time. Let's start with the issue of cultural economy. You say that it are accounts for 37 percent of trade and you're looking to tap into space absolutely um, it's a it's a it's a nodal point for economic growth uh, globally um, and uh, we have uh, thought that it would be important as uh, ministers of culture uh, in the BRICS countries to ensure that we meet like this today you would know that uh, we had uh, the 10th summit 10th BRICS summit in July here in South Africa. Uh, the importance about this meeting is to take forward some of the declarations uh, we made at that level and uh, where the heads of states and government were pointing the way forward. Ours now is more on a program uh, related to the cultural and creative economy. Uh, we are happy with the progress so far. And uh, we are going to ensure that uh, as we started implementing programs uh, which would benefit people. For instance, in South Africa, uh, we are very keen uh, with the developments uh, to ensure that uh, uh, the practitioners in the film industry are able to access the market, the market of, uh, of, of, of Russia with 144 million people, uh, Brazil 200 million and so on. So these, these, these uh, are markets which we want our people here to benefit from and vice versa. But the most important thing is that when we agree on the way for, forward, we are putting a target for ourselves that when we meet next year in Brazil, because we, we are going to be handing over the chairperson, our president will hand over the chairpersonship of, of BRICS to Brazil. So when we meet in Brazil, we should be able to say, here are the practical steps which we have embarked upon and which are impacting positively in the lives of our peoples. But Minister, we cannot ignore the fact that when you talk about South Africa, you could talk about a country uh, whose majority, a majority of whose people were segregated in the past and as a result were not able to participate meaningfully particularly in the art and culture space. Um, you yourself have started a program with the legends because they were dealt you know, a, a hard hand in the past. And we get to a point where they are now and they have not really been able to benefit from their art. Now, how do we balance between the countries that are so developed um, where we see uh, the people benefiting from the art and culture space with South Africa? Well, uh, it's still a lot of work to be done, starting with South Africans themselves. Uh, the very legends we are referring to will tell you how much appreciated, uh, mainly from beyond the national borders of South Africa. So we, we will have to start at home and say that uh, for other people to appreciate who we are and what we do, we should appreciate ourselves uh, as, as the people here uh, in the country. But uh, that doesn't stop us. It doesn't stop us to actually access these markets because we've been interacting like this for the past few years. I can tell you the hunger people have um, of South Africa's arts products, of, of cultural exchange programs and so on. They want to see that, uh, as uh, my counterpart, Minister Sergio, uh, from Brazil said here yeah, that when we were together last month, we couldn't you know, uh, satisfy them because they wanted to see South Africa films and they are able to tell us exactly which films they are talking about because the world is taking note of what is happening in South Africa. 
it's time that uh, we are conscious of that so that we also know what is happening to them and be able to have this exchange because ours as culture ministers is mainly people to people exchanges as long as people are not able to come together i'm not talking about leaders here ordinary people in the arts culture and heritage space um, as long as they are not able to come together and say yes we are benefiting i think we still have to work a lot to achieve that but of course the main issue that i'm talking about is the issue of rights and um, because as much as we may have creative people in South Africa, um, the legends that we are talking about now, we're not able to enjoy the royalties, for instance, from, say, their music or their art in the past because they were not educated about the rights and, and royalties to those works. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I must say that uh, I find it interesting that uh, in other countries they're still grappling with that as well, issues of royalties, uh, issues of copyrights and so on. You would know that in our situation, uh, that is the, the program under uh, trade and industry. And, and the Department of Trade and Industry, working with other departments like ourselves, arts and culture, um, are in a process uh, of ensuring that uh, we strengthen uh, those mechanisms uh, for our people to benefit. And it doesn't stop the process of engaging those who are supposed to be giving this benefit, these royalties to artists, you would know that uh, the collecting agency uh, in South Africa, uh, IMPRA, has engaged with SABC and uh, they've already started to get what is due to artists. Uh, what is important now is that those uh, royalties should reach artists because in the past things have not been able to reach artists and some of their work actually uh, is also, you know, found uh, in our neighboring countries, in SADC, um, in some retail uh, companies here in South Africa. So it's not only the broadcasting corporations uh, who have to ensure that uh, Jews are paid to artists, but a whole host of people who are still being engaged to ensure that their people benefit. But uh, what is going to strengthen all this is this opportunity that artists themselves are given an opportunity to interact with uh, the legislature uh, of South Africa, the, the, the Parliament of South Africa, both NCOP and the National Assembly, uh, and, and the process continues. We can say that uh, will we'll encourage the practitioners to be closer to this process because they, their contribution is valuable to shape what is going to be the end product. And finally, you're the first uh, person, I suppose, from government to engage with Brazil since the new president was uh, elected. Um, are you getting a sense that, because the world is concerned that Brazil, because of his policies, might go away from the BRICS, are you concerned? Well, uh, we, we had similar sentiments uh, expressed when um, India went to uh, elections and one party did not make it, the other made it and so on. No, our approach is that uh, what we are dealing with uh, transcends uh, ideological positions. It is about the people. Uh, it is about the people of Brazil wanting to interact more with the people of South Africa, of India, of Russia. And uh, we, we will follow that, uh, we'll follow the process, formally South Africa handing over to Brazil. Uh, we expect that BRICS should grow from strength to strength as BRICS. Other matters would best be dealt in uh, appropriate fora, but this one we are confident as we were confident when people started raising issues about India some few years ago. Thank you very much. You. Minister Natim Tetwa hosting his counterparts from Brazil, Russia, India, as well as uh, uh, the, 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 all of the BRICS countries that are here. The ministers are here to discuss the cultural economy. These are cultural ministers who are meeting for the third time, of course, following that July summit of the BRICS that was hosted by South Africa and the ministers expressing that uh, they are absolutely delighted to be here at Marobeng, the cradle of humankind, uh, to be home, but also uh, undertaking that they will ensure that the people of the BRICS 
benefit from their cultural activities in the block. Back to you in studio.